welcome to Keeping Connected After Hours. We're at our favorite venue, Fairfield Theater Company, and with me tonight is a wonderful panel of guests, all very spirited with very strong points of view. First, let me introduce everybody. There's Sam, Christina, John, Jesse, and Phil. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 So, what are the top three deal breakers for you in a relationship, and why? Who wants to start? Ooh, I need three. Jesse? Are we talking about a relationship now or just like the first time you meet the person? Deal breakers. I think, you know, as you're kind of moving along towards a relationship, put it that way. Okay. So one of them, maybe you start dating somebody and you feel like you're good and they don't have a lot of money. Not trying to say like they have to be rich or have any money, but if you're paying for everything, that's a deal breaker. There's, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Paying not, for everything. Okay. I'm not dealing with that. All right. Absolutely. Anybody else feel this way? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want to be yeah. paying for everything? No. Um, I, I feel like uh, people should, you know, I guess uh, be able to hold up their own end of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, it is a partnership. It is a partnership. That's <laughs> so, right. So everybody needs to, you know, put it into. I, I guess I'm kind of the opposite because uh, I'm kind of a sugar mama right now because my my, <laughs> my my girlfriend definitely makes a lot more than I make. So uh, John is she, a sugar mama. She, I love that. But, so, but you can pay for something. No, I mean, I, I, I mean, I. Like, oh, he pays. I, like, you know, I like to be chivalrous. I mean, but we do split you it. Open the door. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. No, no, I, I don't. I don't died. just. I don't just like hand up. Okay, you, you got this. You got oh. this this time. Aka every time. But being here, you feel um, taken care of, by her, right? No, I definitely do because like she has a great job and she makes a lot of money, so that's good to kind of Well, she have. sounds very generous and loving. She is. Yeah. She is. But in well, the same way, a deal breaker for me is when, uh -huh. when things are expected. Ah, you know things what I mean? are, like what things it's, are being Well, expected. it's just expected for you to pick up the tab, or it's oh. expected for you to go and open the door. It's just, oh. you know, you don't because like that. to me, well, no, to me it's a partnership. It uh -huh. is. It's total, I don't want the well, door being opened up to me. I'll things. do that, but when it's expected, it's a little different. Uh, you know? How about other things? Like it's expected that, say, the woman would do the laundry. For example. Well, I don't expect that. Absolutely. I do, I do oh, the laundry. Okay. All right. <laughs> I like that. I that the you know what? Though, there that also, go. there's a generation gap with a lot of things too. Like mm, I don't really get a door open one. for me that much anymore, and I'm well, like, what the hell? But you know what? <laughs> I, I, I think a door should always be open for. Oh. Yeah, well, I do too. But, but what is expected? It's it's a little different. Yeah. All right. Know? So, Christina, what do you think? Of deal breakers for you, for sure. A man wearing sandals. A man wearing yeah, sandals. sandals. So socks with sandals I, too. I, I, no, it doesn't even have to be socks. That's even worse. Or, 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 or any shoe wear <laughs> with Velcro. With Velcro. Oh, no. That is a deal that breaker. A if you have Velcro on your shoes, I'm sorry, but you, we're through. You think that by 10 years old, you should be done with Velcro on your shoes? I think they yeah. should be tie or yeah. slip on. Yeah. I'll accept slip on. Men who can tie yeah. their shoes, that's a big point. Men who I can agree. tie their shoes. Right, I agree. I learned to like sixth grade, so <laughs> I, mean, I have to do it on that one. Velcro slip ons are arguably yeah. lazier than Velcro. Velcro. I mean, Velcro yeah, you have to actually reach, you have to reach down. down. Slip ons just, you just, just slip right, them right on. But you tied your shoes tonight, Sam. I did. They're looking good. Double tied. These are not going anywhere. For me, smoking. Uh, smoking. In the beginning, you kind of, I mean, I don't smoke personally, but if somebody does smoke and you don't smoke, maybe you can deal with it in the beginning, but mm -hmm. after a while, your clothes, your hair, yeah, it's like, oh my God, I don't want to smoke yeah. smoke all the time. I don't even smoke. Yeah. yeah. But it's definitely, it's, a it's definitely a deal breaker. After yeah. a while, you know, like, I mean, smoke, Phil? I, I do. I do. I smoke cigars. Cigars. Which is even worse. Well, no, they can kind of smell. <laughs> I like the smells. Like but the you know what? Right? Yeah. My wife loves the smell of a cigar. Oh, see, and she, I, I she buys me cigars. Oh, she's lovely. Go. She okay. is lovely. Mm, you like that. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and Sam, what for you is a deal breaker? Uh, I would say uh, being uh, sort of willfully ignorant or like unimaginative, you oh. know? Ignorant, willfully ignorant or unimaginative. Yeah. Does that mean that person isn't like open-minded and maybe not hear I the guess, other side yeah, of like, an argument, perhaps? If uh, if we're uh, if we're talking about something and uh, your perspective on it is that you don't know and you don't care, oh, uh, that's don't that's like that. a huge deal breaker for uh, me. Because uh, I mean, if you don't know, you should at least be interested mm -hmm. in finding more out mm -hmm. about it. Don't mm -hmm. just write it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Is that applicable to every topic? Because maybe someone just much. doesn't care about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, that, but that, if they're with a person oh, yeah. that they well, do I mean, care you could, about, you they care a little bit. Exactly. Like, it, and actually it. caring I mean, about it is telling somebody, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, you there know? are yeah. things that some people don't just care don't about. I think that would be a deal breaker for me, though. Like, if like someone, if I was dating a girl and she didn't, I mean, not even a little bit, like sports. 
Uh, done or music uh, done just because yeah because I mean like breakers. well yeah because like she has to so shove so shove in some interest yeah I mean speak <laughs> I mean it just she doesn't have to be very yeah. infatuated with like I am but I could talk forever about yeah. the socks or the pets or whatever <laughs> about well now I understand could she just <laughs> socks the pets. could she just sit next to you and drink heavily while you watch the sports <laughs> game like is that showing an interest I mean, I, I mean, or does she gotta least, like have the pom poms? No, out she, and she, be she like, doesn't, doesn't have to. Pass. She needs to at least like kind of fake it. Right. Fake, You're not fake it. Like oh, so well, you would well, like well, someone yeah. to yeah. fake their interest just to appease your well, no, I don't, I don't think your faking it is the right word. Ego. But but I do I do agree that you can you can have a little interest in somebody yeah. else's interest. But to fake an interest I, is I said, entirely different. Right. Well, well, part of yeah. I think in in yeah. most good healthy relationships. Again, I'm going back to my therapist self here. There's two pressing questions. I'm only going to hit one of them at this time, so you're going to have to tune in later. But one of them is, am I important to you? And that addresses your question, which is, we do this for our kids. Like I watch my son's lacrosse. I don't love lacrosse, but I love it because he loves it. So we go, you know, we do, we jump into things for our children, but a lot of times we hold ourselves back as adults and we don't realize that what you're saying is you're sort of yearning for that person to know you and understand the things that make you really excited and happy. So that's actually a good thing. It's a positive, except for it gets, if it's like every Sunday, and you're eating like cheese whiz and <laughs> drinking beer and, and maybe she wants to go take a walk and you're only watching football, that might be a problem. But you can also well, have it where like every Sunday maybe you like to watch your game, but maybe the girlfriend is like, well, I'm gonna go do my thing. And you're like, okay, go ahead, have yeah, fun. That, that could work. I you can watch Grey's Anatomy on Thursdays. Works, yeah, yeah, I, think, I think there's a sort of a give and take. Like you, you do sort of show interest and maybe learn a little bit and be you know open-minded to your point, Sam, of saying, well, let's take a bike ride today and miss that game. I, don't, I know some guys get really which, which serious about Which game? Which game? <laughs> which game would that be? Yeah. Is it a playoff game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're expecting someone to get really into everything, you're going to be no. disappointed because right. there's a lot of stuff out there and not everyone can care about everything. But uh, I don't know. I think it's definitely kind of bad if you're not like the tiniest bit curious. Yeah, like if you just have, have to show you, interest. If you flatly totally refuse to hear any new information, then like uh, I guess I personally would not be interested. That's a deal breaker. So yeah. any other deal breakers that come to your minds? Bad hygiene. Bad hygiene. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, that's true. That's, <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? No other deal okay, pleated okay. khaki pants with a palm tree embroidered coral <laughs> shirt. <laughs> okay, that was two weeks ago. It was okay. a deal breaker. Christina clearly had a date from hell, and the pleated khaki yeah. pants with the coral shirt just didn't go over palm well. Palm tree embroidered. <laughs> so, yes. so, yeah. Because yeah. you can yeah. say to a man, hey, yes. you know what, you would look great in this, but the truth is that shirt is always going to be in the closet, and you never know when it's going to come out. But did he have Velcro <laughs> shoes on at the same time? <laughs> I mean, no, so, so, no, so I, no. Honestly, it's, it's, it is fashion. It's very important yeah. to you then. Uh, yes. Uh, it's, it's, it's not fashion, but presentation. Presentation. Yeah. presentation. If I go through the effort of preparing yeah. for a first date and I do my hair, I dress, mm. and I show up and you're wearing shorts and Velcro sandals and an unironed <laughs> shirt, we're done. <laughs> what effort is that? Rather, first impressions. Well, yeah. First well, impressions are yeah. powerful. Uh -huh. So, I mean, the first impressions are the most important ones. So, That's correct. How so about if you came up looking really nice and then... Oh, I would date. Three, no, I, I, no, on. I would date him like for the three dates, and I'd be like, "Well, those sandals are great in the uh -huh. fire pit. How about we throw them there and we'll go shopping?" There, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Right, but you have to burn the offensive clothes, yeah, yeah, or it stays in the I think closet. You can have influence over time, but you you don't want to go ruining right. somebody's idea. Yeah. <laughs> their feelings possibly. It sounds like I think we're kind of there. The deal breakers, it sounds like Velcro sandals. Those are bad, we know that. Um, no interest whatsoever in your partner's, um, I don't know, hobbies, whether it's a, you know, watching NASCAR or a football NASCAR. game. NASCAR. That sounds like fun, right? No one watches NASCAR. Really? Nobody? All right. Um, well, maybe she likes to knit. You shouldn't be interested in knitting, okay. right? Yes. No. Anyway, you? so uh, <laughs> if you have an opinion about this and you want to tell us, we would love to hear it. You'd have to text us at the number below. You also might want to like us on Facebook because you can tell us on Facebook. And we're always looking for more questions. So be sure to text us the number below.